Just a week before Apple is expected to announce their new iPad and iPad mini, we got our hands on Amazon's brand new 7-inch Kindle Fire HDX. This tablet is one of four in the updated Kindle Fire line, with the HDX versions featuring high-end displays and the ability to add 4G LTE through either AT&T or Verizon. Is the Kindle Fire HDX the tablet to make Amazon a major player in the tablet game? Well, that remains to be seen, but we're more interested in what makes this little guy tick. So let's go in for a closer look and tear it down. Hey there, it's Gwendolyn with iFixit, and today we're looking at the 7-inch Kindle Fire HDX. The Kindle Fire HDX, measured in at 186 millimeters by 128 millimeters, it is 9 millimeters thick and weighs in at 303 grams. The Kindle was less than agreeable when we went to open it. Using our opening tool to take off the partial plastic bezel covering the screws, we discover it was also glued on. Boo, Amazon, not cool. When we finally do get to the screws, we take a moment to be excited about the fact that they are magenta. Ooh. But that won't stop us from taking them out. With the screws out, we set to work on getting the back case off. It took a surprising amount of muscle to separate the back case from the tablet. Now that the Kindle is finally open, we set to work on the motherboard. Once we free the motherboard, we find that the LCD and digitizer cable are trapped underneath the midframe which means when you're reinstalling your motherboard, you'll be trying to reconnect the LCD and digitizer underneath the board, which is a huge pain. Since we have the Logic board out, let's take a look at the goodies on it. This is a 2.2 gigahertz quad-core Snapdragon 800 processor. It's currently the fastest processor in a seven inch tablet with three times the processing power of other tablets of its size. I wonder how long that will last. And now we can get to the battery. Don't expect to replace this easily because Amazon made it very clear they want it to stay right where they put it. This guy is stuck, very stuck. This is a 3.8 volt, 4,550 milliamp hour battery that Amazon claims to give you up to 11 hours of fun or 17 hours of just reading, which is also fun. Unlike most tablets on the market, the Kindle Fire HDX is sporting only one camera that is capable of an underwhelming 720p. This is a front-facing camera, so it's perfect for all your selfies and Skyping, but if you're a self-proclaimed or actual master tablet photographer, this guy is not for you. Lastly, we turn our attentions to that fancy new display. Once again, we find ourselves reaching for our eye opener kit because we're looking at a ton of adhesive. A little heat and some careful scraping and we got it out. What puts the X in the HDX? It's the upgraded display. This seven inch display has a resolution of 1920 by 1200 and a pixel density of 323 pixels per inch. We've come to the end of our teardown, which means it's time to talk repairability. At iFixit, it is our mission to teach people how to repair everything. So we give every gadget we tear down a repairability score between one and 10. 10 being the easiest to repair and one being the most difficult. The seven inch Kindle Fire HDX scores a dismal three out of 10 for repairability. And here's why. On the upside, several modular components can be replaced individually. But on the downside, the battery is glued in place with strong adhesive, and it requires removing the motherboard to replace. The motherboard itself is difficult to replace, and the LCD is fused to the front glass, so you'll need to replace both components for a cracked screen. For the complete teardown, including tons of beautiful high-quality images, head on over to ifixit.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all the latest teardowns and repair videos. Follow us on Twitter at iFixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash iFixit.